Hello everybody and welcome back to some more Risk of Rain 2 modded. We are jumping in again and I think it's time that we up the difficulty to Monsoon. I think it is. I think it is. Uh, let's go. We did Thunderstorm last time. Monsoon this time and then we can try some of the really, really re uh, mental ones later on. But yeah, I think uh, right now I want to do um, some randomization of artifacts. Just because this could be so wacky um i don't know what the x means because these ones are like unhighlighted i don't know what what that means anyways let's see character runs faster at lower hp all combat attacks are 10 percent uh 10 times faster but you deal 1 20th of the damage all enemies may be boss enemies and elite enemies oh my god enemy uh, increase enemies and interactable spawns by two times allows players to drop uh and scrap items Monsters interactables can appear earlier. Um, post loop enemies be begin appearing at ambient level 10. Monster spawns are increased. Whenever a blue portal spawns, each player's lunar coin will be raised to 2 billion. Spawn a blue portal every stage. Okay, that's pretty interesting. The effects shrine of the mountain are permanent. And when one player dies, everyone dies. Um, okay. I'll, I'm going to say let's go for it. Uh, and then in terms of our class... I don't really know who to go for, I'll be honest. I'll be honest. I don't know who to go for. Um, I don't know if I should go for a vanilla class or go to the modded ones. We've got plenty of time to look at all the modded ones, so we don't have to go for modded right now. In fact, let's see. Do we have any uh, new skills to go for? Yeah, we have some modded skills with this guy. Um, so we can go double tap or we can go with the pulse. Rapidly shoot uh, enemies four times with a high recoil per shot. Yeah, I like the idea of that. The phase burst um, is pretty good. We've got either the tactical dive, the tactical slide, or the jink jet. From a small jet-assisted horizontal jump um, in your aim, hold up to three. Let's try that out. And then we've got the suppressive fire, the frag grenade, or the plasma grenade. Ignite throw a sticky grenade um, to walls. Watch your aim near low walls. Interesting. And then we can also go for some new um, looks. I mean, I like the look of this one. This one's just like Master Chief. Anyways, this is going to be fucking wild. <laughs> the randomized artifacts with this is just going to be absolutely crazy. Uh, there's a good chance we die pretty quickly. In fact, I might want to lower it back down to Thunderstorm just because of all the modifiers. Uh, let's ready up and jump on in. We're going to be doing a lot of wacky shit with this series. I, I don't care. We're just going to be messing around and seeing what happens. I like the Lunar stuff we've got going on. So, holy shit. So, the attack's been 10 times faster but doing less damage. Oh my god. Why is that enemy so fast? One second, one second. Is there any way that I can view? Oh my god. Is there any way I can view my lunar, uh, my lunar modifiers? Also, we're going to need to turn the sound down a little bit because... Um, actually, leave that at 20. Just turn that down to like 30 so we don't deafen ourselves. Also, gameplay. Screen shake scale. Let's put that down to like 20% right now. Oh my god. This is hilarious. Right. Ooh, little... Oh, I like that. That's really nice as an ability. And then that's the plasma grenade. So I think players and enemies get faster as they get to lower HP. That's going to be nutty. Fucking hell. These things fire so fast. <laughs> this is crazy. Oh my god, the knockback. Oh lord, this is hilarious. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Look at this thing go. That's hilarious. Oh my god, we are going to need a lot of damage to make this even close to viable. No, I want the item! Move slightly faster, slowing effects impact you less. Oh my goodness. This is just crazy. 
What the fuck is this? Look at this fucking stone titan! Moving at the speed of sound! Look at him go! Oh my god, that's hilarious. Oh my god! <laughs> what have I created here? This is fucking bonkers! This is absolutely nuts. Reduce damage against the 100 hits. Oh, God. That's not going to last long. 50, okay. I can't fucking kill anything. It's Right now, like, nothing's dying. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh my god. Yeah, I'm gonna need a lot more damage. I need items to, like, make this work. I'm gonna have to just put in the, put in the time early game and... Oh my god, we got like the doubled enemy spawns as well. I mean, at least we're not dying very easily. I could say that at least. I would like to open that chest please game. Right, let's just get away for, for now. I've created something truly wonderful here, haven't I? Oh, that is so good. Honestly, yeah. Razor Blade is going to be super, super clutch. Okay, the healing dudes are really problematic. Look at the Lumerian! <laughs> That's fucking hilarious. Oh my god, that's so funny. The healing elites are like really problematic because I can't out damage them. Like, I legitimately cannot out damage them. Okay, let's get out of here. How did I get burn level 2 on me? When did that happen? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. The launching that this gives me at this speed is insane. It just yeets me. Look at that. That's amazing. Release a 30 meter barrier effect for all allies. Um, I don't know what that's going to do for us really. Um, oh my god. The speed. Drop a poison mine when taking heavy damage. Okay. Oh my goodness. What's the wrench do? Fucking go away from me, you. Gain a random boost when entering danger. I don't know if it's a good thing or not. Oh my god. The boss is going to be so fucking difficult, isn't it? Slightly decreased secondary skill cooldown grants healing upon using it. Okay. Right, I think it's about time that we enter the Thunderdome here. Summon that bad boy. Forgot that I have to kill this guy before I use anything. Mm. I afraid the oh no. This is so crazy. 
I'm doing like so low damage to this guy. I jumped into everything by accident. Whoopsie. Oh hello, wandering vagrant. You've 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 lowered yourself. Just just to get near all the heels, is that? Is that just to get near all the heels, is it? The heels are a little inconvenient for me. Oh my god. I'm losing health so fast. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Where did you come from? I can't be dealing with this. Oh my god, he's just not dying. At least we get the movement speed as well at uh, lower HP. Oh my god, I'm dead. Okay. Well. That was something else. Holy shit. Okay. New randomization. How, it'd be nice if you could set how many it randomized, because right now... Oh, it's 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 bad. Enemies now have multiple elite types. Imps will invade you to destroy you every 10 minutes. Uh, player takes heavy damage, um, heavily increased damage while airborne. All entities suffer from the effects of... Uh, of what? Changeling soul? Um, enable Eclipse modifiers. Okay, no, we're, we're refreshing again on this one. Player can be killed in one hit. Lovely. All items dropped are taken and guarded by the teleporter bot, which explodes in a share of loot when killed. Um, all combatants give teammates a small stacking boost to speed, armor, uh, suit damage and armor. All enemies can spawn on any stage. Um, allow players to drop loot. Post loop enemies begin to appear at ambient levels. Dead players respawn after the boss is defeated. Um, charges the teleporter upon killing the boss. Um, spawn with a random equipment that changes every time it's activated. Friendly fire is enabled. Um, allies deal 500% damage. Okay, that's the glass one. The effects of the shrine of the mountain are permanent. The Phantom King of Nothing hunts you down if you spend too long on a stage. Teleporter zone covers the whole map, but charging speed is reduced and prices are increased. Monsters gain greatly increased movement speed, attack speed, and projectile. Oh my god. Fall damage is doubled and lethal. Let's go. Well, there's going to be a lot of death in this episode, I think. This is just a messing around. We have 11 health. Basically, any fall damage is going to kill us. Well, what the hell? What happened there? At least we can kill things now. That's that's a change of pace. I wonder if using that kills me. I kind of feel like I have to find out. Or if it'll take... I'm guessing it'll take 50% of 11, right? I'd be kind of dumb if it didn't. Yeah, okay, that's good. I don't get my item until the boss... Though. Ooh, what the hell? A turret spawned. An engineer's turret spawned to kill me. Open both the chest, but nothing happens. What the hell's this bubble? Is that you see this? You see this like line here? There's a bubble. Is it you? It is. What are you doing here? Right. Just looking for a few more chests to open, then I'm off. What the hell are you? What are you? This is very interesting. I have a feeling that any... Whoa, that enemy was bugged out. I have a feeling that any one enemy that attacks me is going to kill me, though. I feel like if I get hit by anything, I die. Because I kill things so quickly. We 
should probably take that, to be honest. I don't know if it's going to be useful, but I'm going to take it. I also need to be really careful of fall distance. I feel like I could so easily kill myself right now. Oh, God. Right. Last few things. See a big boy chest over there? No, thank you, sir. Ooh, we got a legendary there. The Symbiotic Scorpion. What does this do? I used my active. It didn't, didn't seem to do anything. Right, I think we're good to go. Bossing time. I would like to get a few more crates open, but there's no one here. Also, apparently, there's going to be something that comes to kill us if we hang around too long on a stage. Right, I better... What the hell's this? Take a speed boost. Okay, thank you. Interesting. What? Um, why is there about a billion beetle queens? The fuck just happened? The actual shit just... What the... Also, where the fuck are all my items? Um, do you know those items that were being safeguarded for me? Do you remember? Oh my god, are you kidding me? It doesn't spawn them at the teleporter? Fuck you, game. I at least thought it would drop them at the teleporter for us. Fuck me. Oh, I... Okay, no, no, no. I understand now. There's some very poor interaction going on. Because we have that thing where it instantly charges the teleporter, but we also have that thing where um, the teleporter event covers the entire map, which essentially means that our items can spawn anywhere on the map. Uh, um... Uh, uh, what? No, 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 no! I'm not ready. I don't want to go yet. Get me the hell out of here. I'm not ready to go. No, 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 no. No, Phantom Mithrix, you bitch. I wasn't ready to go. I was so young. <laughs> I forgot about that guy. Right. This is a lot of fun. I'm enjoying this. Right. Lock a random active or passive skill in imps will invade. Increase enemies and interactables by two times. All enemies can spawn. Player can be killed in one hit. Items have a chance to remove another item when picked up. Starting at stage three, items taken. Oh, God, no. We're going to randomize again. That's horrible. Um, enemies may now have multiple elites. Extra interactables and enemies. All entities suffer the effects of the chain channeling soul. The Diluvian modifier is lovely. Um, everything can appear earlier. Automatically activate one mountain shrine each stage, plus an additional for each completed loop. Enemies drop multiple exploding bombs on death. Um, 3D printers and scrappers can no longer spawn. Monsters gain increased movement speed, attack speed, and projectile speed. Monsters may only be of one type per stage. Interesting. This is truly the only way to play this game. Also, are we under the map? Well, that one was fun. <laughs> that one was an absolute blast. Wow, okay. Don't know what happened there. Enemies commit multiple lead types. In increase enemy and retractable spawns by two times. Uh, play can be killed in one hit. Uh, collected items increase difficulty. Interactable spawns are increased. The effects of Shrine of the Mountain are permanent. Enemies can only spawn as elites. Uh, wisps emerge from defeated enemies. Monster spawns are doubled, but monsters' maximum health is halved. Cool. Let's do it. Let's do it to it.
already see a big boy chest over there. The fact that wisps are going to come out of every enemy, and every enemy is doubled, and all those wisps are going to be elite is uh, quite something. Right. Yeah, I'm already feeling the burn here. It's the fucking wisps that can just shoot you, like, fuck off. Healing bubble. Thank you. That healing drone is something I desperately need, too. Stop setting me on fire, you pricks. Look at that ice boy. Oh my god. Your healing drone, where are you? There you are, there you are. I need you, like, right now, healing drone. Stop with the fire! Fire is too much. Oh my goodness. Uh, speed up health for gym for allies, but yeah, yeah, we need that, we need that. <laughs> no, don't slow me down. Don't slow me down. Oh, shit. Oh, my goodness. They're all about to jump up here with me, aren't they? Yep. My goodness. I just wanted the fucking oh my god. <laughs> oh, this is hilarious. Spam as fast as I can. Um run faster at low HP. That that one really fucked us up last time, actually. Um Start with three equipment slots. Equipment is more common and uh, is consumed instead of going on cool cooldown. All enemies may be bosses. Um, all shrines activate an additional mountain shrine. Increase player interactables. We have two of those. Increase enemy and interactables and increase enemy and interactables. Um, the eclipse modifier is lovely. Um, remove the one scavenger bag per stage limit. Interesting. Enemies drop multiple bombs. Friendly fire. Uh, effects try and mount a permanent. Monsters will only be one type per stage. Teleporter. Spawns on every stage after looping. Teleporter zone covers the whole map. Um, oh, this one's going to be fucking horrible as well. This is truly something spicy. Why did I spawn with half HP? What's that about? It's a bit rude. Okay, these bombs are no joke. I didn't expect that when I was looking at the bombs. Attacking bosses increases attack speed, um, 5% capping at 10%. Yeah. Trying to stay alive here, shall we? Why you gotta be an elite? 
Health run, I need you like right now. Didn't I just buy you? I, I missed it. No, I missed it. I might die because I missed the healing run. Fuck, I can't believe it was 48. I thought it was 40. Fuck you, game. Oh my god. Let's give this one more go. Nah, we'll give it a few more goes. I'm enjoying it. I just want one configuration where I don't get instantly fucking rolled. Um, Charge to teleport upon killing the boss. Um, automatically activate one shrine amount to next every stage. Choose your items. That's pretty good. Enemies can only spawn as elites. 3D printers and scrappers are no longer available. Um, when the play when one player dies, everyone dies. Fall damage is double and lethal. Okay, this is all elites, which is scary. But... It is Artifact of Command. We do, get, we do get to choose our items, which is pretty huge for us. Healing orb there. Where you at, enemies? Where you at? We'll also get more money for the elites as well, which is nice. Right. Um, what do we want off the bat here? Chance on taking damage to fire a missile. Uh, no. Lens maker's glasses. Get some crits going. Holy shit, I'm on 15 HP already. What the fuck just happened to me? I'm, I'm dead, aren't I? Holy shit. Dude, okay, I think I can I think I can do this one. I'm gonna stick with this configuration. Fuck me. Maybe I need to turn it off of Monsoon or whatever difficulty it's on. One second. Let's just go down to Rainstorm for now. No, no artifacts are enabled. That buggered it up. Bollocks. I had a good configuration going there. Um, a relentless doppelganger will invade. Interesting. Um, Purse loop enemies, yeah, that's cool. Double player count scaling, interesting. Oh, my clerics base one shrine amount in every stage, plus an additional. We got the blue portal. Teleport covers the whole zone. Let's go for it. I still don't know what the X's mean. Oh, we got this one again. Okay. I had a feeling we did. I, I, I didn't read it properly, so I wasn't sure. At least they don't speed up this time when they get to low HP. That doesn't even cost so much. Oh my god. You can set me on fire so fast here. Deal more damage when given time to plot. I don't know what that means. Okay, okay, okay. That could be good.
Made this game into like a fucking horror game at this stage. So hard to actually kill anything. Oh my god, the amount of fire they can snack on me is crazy. Holy shit, get me the hell out of there. I honestly don't know what's going on over there. Whoa! There's some serious shit going on down there. I've got to play it how I can, kill what I can. Look at all those enemies, holy shit. There's, I feel like there's got to be a few items that are just obscenely good with this crazy high fire rate, but... I'm not getting them. So far. That could be a really good thing for us. Look at the Lemarians. It's fucking crazy, isn't it? My goodness. Stop lighting me on fire, you shithouses. Honestly, I really think the biggest problem is those healing elites. They're just so oppressive for us. Because they just they can just heal everything all the damage we do back to full health like straight away. Also the fire elite snacking fire on us so quickly is also not great. Oh no, this is just not easy. 82. It's so hard for us to make any money. But look, I'm at 23. Look how long I've been firing. Oh look, we're still at 23. Oh god, don't slow me down, this bullshit. Only up to 28. 27, but that's a gamble, though. My god. Stop setting me on fire! Not fair. Hell. Who thought this was a good idea? I'm at 1 HP. Don't think it's going to go so hot right now. Can I knock them off the edge to like get money or does that not give me the kill? I don't actually know. There's a shrine in the mountain there as well. I mean, I'm going to take it. Why not? I'm pretty happy with the ability to uh, regenerate my shield. Oh my god. Why did, like, whoever designed that modifier, they made the damage way too low. Let's try it as Huntress, maybe. Let's actually pick some artifacts this time. Right. Let's, let's turn them all off. Right. They are all X'd pretty much now. Let's actually pick some this time. So, increase enemies and interactable spawns by two times. That sounds fun. Um, 
I do want to try and work, make this one work. Uh, da, 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 da. I'm not going to do that again. All shrines activate additional shrine. The mountain sounds fun. Double player count scaling. No, thank you. That sounds fun. Spawn Luna Pods, no thank you. That sounds good, along with that. Enemies drop exploding bombs, no. Spawn as a random survivor. Monsters gain items between stages. Monsters can appear outside the useful environment, no thank you. I'm interested to see how this works. I like that too. Boss monsters invade the map every 10 minutes. Monsters drop item on death. Right. Let's try that out and see how that goes. Ooh, that's fun. It doesn't do anywhere near as much damage as I'd hope it'd do, but it's fun. Don't know what that did. Oh my god, the noise that this makes. It's just killing enemies that gives us stuff now. Hopefully, it doesn't take too long for stuff to start dropping. Small enemies like this die reasonably quickly. Big boy enemies, they take a bit of doing. But yeah, if people want to give you some suggestions of what, um, of what artifacts to run, I'm certainly open to them. The random artifacts thing clearly isn't something that we can do very often because it's just very, very difficult to get artifacts that work well together and don't cause complete agony. First item. Fence to mark enemies for a guaranteed crit. That's pretty good, actually. Basically, I just need to look in the general direction of enemies. Oh, god damn. That guaranteed crit thing is very good, actually. Once they're marked, every shot after that is a guaranteed crit. Crowbar's really... Wait, what? The fuck killed me? Oh, I got so fire again! <gasps> you bastard of a game. I'm trying it again. The fire is just... It's just oppressive. And it makes me depressive. God damn, it's so oppressive. It's crazy. It's just absolutely nuts how bad fire is. Watch out for those Lamarians. Hoping we get early item drops here. I can't believe this is with a glass artifact on that we're doing this low damage. Getting gold on crits. That would be good if gold was at all useful to us, but it's not really. What's this?
don't know what a bulwark drone is, but I've got nothing else to spend my money on, so I'll take it. Yeah, I was like, oh, this damage is actually pretty good, and then I realised, yeah, this is with glass on, so... This is what it should be like without glass. Like, honestly, it's way too... The damage is way too low. And here we go. Oh my god, can I stop getting things that just drop me more gold? I don't need more gold. Multiple barrier to get... Okay. That's pretty good. Gain increase in crit chance on failing a shrine, remove on success. Don't know if that does anything for us. Shrine of the mountain over there. We've already got one shrine of the mountain activated, so... Another one might be a bit of a risk, but... I like risks. Right, let's go for it. Maybe we can finish a stage one even once. Damn it, no item. Not a single item. Okay, there's some good item for us. Not a good one though. We're not getting great items really at all, are we? Hold fire and up. That one shot me? Boy, this is tough. That one shot me. Are you kidding? Oh my god. This is obscenely difficult. <laughs> I, I really did think this wasn't going to be anywhere near this hard. One of you gives me an item. I hope the chance is tied to how many times we fire. Someone will be firing a ton of missiles. Close range attacks reach farther and deal slightly more damage. Easy. Is that a tri-tip dagger? That could be pretty good. We can stack bleed up real fast. L3 gen for the next 20 minutes. Right, where's that actually? Time to shoot an extra. Oh, that's pretty good. Right, where's our, where's our actual teleporter? We need that soon as. There it is. We do have a bunch of Shrine of the Mountain effects on, so it could go terribly wrong. Oh fuck, oh fuck, oh fuck, oh fuck, oh fuck, oh fuck. Yeah, this isn't going so well. And he's mending as well. Doesn't help. Get out of here. Okay, that's one done. Don't quite know how I managed that, but there you go. I think that apple that gives us the health regen is kind of broken. It doesn't scale to how much max HP you have. Okay. Let's 
so many enemies down there that won't die. These bloody healing fools, get out of there. Oh, you're healing bullshit. Okay, finally we can kill him. Because we heal all the time now. I've got the Jade Elephant up so he can't really hurt me. Chance to snare enemies, that's also pretty good. Any chance to thing is probably pretty good for us because we're firing so fast. Okay, we're almost dead. We're getting you there, we're getting you there. Holy shit. Get me in that blue portal, baby. Wow, there was apparently another item on the floor there that I missed, but it's okay. Got one of these synergy cubes here. That didn't do anything for us. Um, these ch these things save your life, don't they? Receive an instant heal. Yeah, 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 that's good. Honestly, I might just want to buy all of these. Sadly, I can't buy anything more. Don't know what any of these do. Every 25 seconds, mark an enemy if defeated, they drop an item. If not, their health damage and speed is greatly increased. No, thank you. Increase critical sight damage, but critical sight chance is halved. No, thank you. Uh, drop a lantern that fears enemies for 10 seconds. No, thank you. And doubles your health, but halves your speed. No, thank you. Okay, we are out of here. Can I... What does Q do? I just re-rolls it. Okay. Let's get out of here. Wow. This has been something. This has truly been something so far. My ATG missile launches might be pretty insane here, so... Oh, I don't take damage in this area anymore. I'm not quite sure why that is. I'm actually because I've got really good HP regen, maybe. Weird, it didn't contain any, uh... Actual... Corrupted item things. I hoping it would. Very strange. Okay, I've reached a point now where my damage is actually decent. Not good, it's decent. You dropped an active, I think, there? A 14 seconds hit and it caused them to drop gold. Okay. Stay the hell of the way of the electric boys, because they one shot me before. I've not seen a single item yet. 
Actually, no, I did see one. There's another one. Oh, that's amazing. Okay, okay. Really, really good. We need a lot more of those to make it valuable, but it's a start. Okay, boss is here. I'm activating these because they activate more shrines in the mountain. And I kind of think that's my only way of succeeding here is by just getting a ton of bosses to fight. Okay. We're actually killing stuff pretty fast here. You get away, you slowing bastard. Right. Let's go do the boss. Bunch of shrine in the mountains are active. My shield decays really slowly now as well, which is nice. Overloading stone titan. Okay. That's not great. kill all of these guys. Right. See how... I was just about to say see how much damage we do to this guy. And then he one-shot me. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this. This was a lot of messing around and experimenting. But it was a lot of fun. Hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next one.